Good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you Pragnanta vs Eric Hansen game played at 2022 Oslo Esports Cup. This is a game from round 5 and Indian chess prodigy started with d4. Canadian chess grandmaster Hansen's answer was d5 and after c4 c6 we have Slav defense. Then white is choosing the quiet variation and bishop g4 the pin defense. Earlier, a couple of days ago, we have seen this variation in Pragnananta Mamedyarov game, but in that encounter in here, Pragu chose queen b3 continuation, but in this game, he hurried to unpin the knight as soon as possible and then centralize the kingside knight. Knight bd7, h4, bishop b4. This is a mistake and is allowing white to win a piece. Yeah, definitely a huge blunder by Hansen. A theory recommends d takes c4, securing d3 square for the bishop. But in our game, we have bishop b4. By the way, after d takes c4, the line goes like this. White is capturing on g6, then playing g5, and then bishop takes c4. Is that in the game we have bishop b4 and after an exchange of knights on d7, white hurried to win this bishop. Bishop b4, f3. The bishop is trapped. Queen c7, rook h3. Yes, this bishop has no retreating square. First, white is covering g3 squares, not allowing unpleasant checks. And then f takes e4. Very, very strange that such a strong player as Hansen missed that line. Uh, rook f3, again a very accurate move by Prago, mm, he's still keeping control over g3 square, but uh, Blick didn't even uh, win the exchange, castled kingside, and this time we have rook f4, bishop d6, c5, bishop e7, and again Blick is not winning the rook, which is pretty much playable of course, we have bishop e7, queen c2, probably that's because that Hansen wanted to keep as many pieces on the board as possible and here Prague boldly castled queenside. Of course this can allow black to gain some attacking chances on the queenside but time will show that Prague's defense was impregnable. Uh, I think that I keep an eye please on the rook on f4, it's still hanging and after bishop c1 uh, queen c7 only in here, white played rook f2 and I counted and figured out that for 6 moves black could win this rook both with the knight then many times with the bishop but uh, black <laughs> totally neglected this rook and finally Prago decided to move it back. So, white has a winning position actually and all Prago needs to do is to consolidate the position. With c5, black weakened the pawn on b5 and is losing it. d takes c4 and the pawn on c4 also drops. Rook f1, rook a5, queen d3, I'm pinning the bishop because the knight on b5 was hanging. Rook takes c4, queen takes c4. These are desperate attempts, you know. There is no way out, black can't do anything and at the moment we can see that white is a rook up. This is just a matter of time. Let's see how Prague realized the advantage. Still black is holding but now white will consolidate the position and, and will uh, get a full point. So Prague is of course interested in the exchange of queens something which black of course doesn't want queen d3 queen f1 offering the exchange of queens and at the same time now if we move like queen e4 then the bishop will drop that's why black played queen e3 neutralizing the threat keeping an eye on g1 thus neutralizing the threat but here comes queen f2 and yeah now if you move back the queen then uh, the bishop will drop black Captured on d4, but after knight takes d4, finally resigned. Yeah. Here then rook takes f2. This is an easy win, that's why enough is enough after knight takes d4, resignation followed. 
There was a blunder of course in the opening, but I like the game because for so many moves Prago was keeping his rook and priest, Plek didn't touch it and that was something entertaining, you know, maybe mainly that was the reason that for today I picked up this game. In the end the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.